Today I show how implementing a noise filter with an Ichimoku trading strategy can have a dramatic effect on performance. Back after this brief message. DarwinX is a UK FCA regulated broker and asset manager on a mission to disrupt the financial trading, investing and asset management industries. As a trader, you'll benefit from cost-effective market access via multiple trading platforms and APIs. These enable trading and investing in any US stock, over 60 of the most liquid futures contracts, FX and CFDs. You can even diversify your portfolio by buying and selling other traders' strategies as investable assets themselves. So, if all of that sounds interesting, Learn more by clicking on the link top right now or find further links in the description right below. Now back to today's tutorial. Today I implement a noise filter alongside the Ichimoku trading strategy that we've been implementing. My noise filter of choice is the Kaufman efficiency ratio and the intended reason for implementing a filter such as this is to reduce the number of whipsaws, which are more likely to occur when the price action is exhibiting noisy behavior. Let's take a look. This is the next episode in the Spotlight on Indicators series, and in the last episode, this is where we left off. The blue curve shows the equity that I've been able to achieve using this Ichimoku strategy. But bear in mind that there has been no optimization of any of the parameters up until this point. And so I have no doubt that this could be improved on significantly if an optimization was performed in a sensible way, ensuring that no overfitting was taking place. Now, the orange line represents the results from just the first component being implemented, which was the crossover signal. So this is the crossover of the Tenkan Sen line with the Kijun Sen line. And as you can see here, the results are not very good. It's a loss-making strategy. But as I explained last time, as we start to implement the filters of Ichimoku and also the noise filter that we're going to do today, this will improve the results significantly. So let's move on to the noise filter. In the bottom section of the screen here, we can see the Kaufman efficiency ratio, which is the indicator that I'm going to use in order to measure noise and to filter out trades if the noise is too high. As you can see, it's an oscillating indicator. So let's very briefly look at the concept of how this measures noise. So in this example, we have a crossover of the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen at this point here. So what we would do is look back a number of periods from the crossover in order to measure the noise from the price action. Now, the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen strategy is a much shorter term Ichimoku strategy than, let's say, the Kumo breakout. And so in this instance, I've chosen to use a relatively small number of periods to calculate the noise. When I get to the Kumo breakout strategy, I may well choose a higher number of periods because that's a longer term strategy. So here I've chosen 10 bars as that period. And the calculation of the noise is performed by looking at the close price of consecutive bars and looking at what the price difference is between those. So here we can calculate this price difference between bars one and two. Next, we would calculate the price difference between bars two and three. And the absolute values here get summed together. And we would do that for all 10 bars. And then that is compared to the actual price increase from the first bar to the last bar. And it's the ratio here that tells us how noisy the price action is. Now, that's just a very, very brief explanation of the Kaufman efficiency ratio. I have in the past put together a number of different episodes in relation to this indicator. And if you're interested in finding out more, I've put a link in the video description. So plotting that calculation over time gives us this blue oscillator that we see at the bottom. 
And so what we need to decide next is where we draw the line of what we would consider to be high noise and what we would consider to be a low level of noise. Now, in trend following strategies, usually the number of whipsaws that cause small losses on the account happen more frequently than the trades that catch the trend and produce a much larger return. And so if, for example, we had four trades, three of those may be small loss-making whipsaw trades, whereas the one would be the profitable trade. So you might be looking at a 75%, 25% ratio. And I've used that ratio to inform where I've drawn this line that you see in yellow going through the efficiency ratio. Any value that's above that line is classed as being highly efficient, or in other words, has a low level of noise. And anything below the yellow line has a higher level of noise and is therefore less efficient. And I've tried to draw the level of that line so that I've got 25% of the Kaufman efficiency points above and about 75% below, in line with that ratio I mentioned a moment ago. And when I do that, that level comes out at about 0.55. And so this is the logic behind where I came up with those values of 10 periods to represent the relatively short-term time frame of this strategy and a level of 0.55 to give me that 75-25% split. So with that implemented, I'm now going to run this through the strategy tester again. And this is exactly the same strategy that we had last time. So the crossover details are exactly the same. The only difference is that I've added in this noise filter. So it will only allow those crossovers to be acted on if the noise is low enough. So let's start this off. Okay, so we'll come back to this when the strategy tester has finished. Okay, so that's finished now. And as you can see, the results are much better. And the strategy now almost breaks even. But it's easier to see the improvement if we plot this on the chart that we had last time. So the orange line here, if you remember, is for the crossover of the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen, which produced 68,000 trades. And these are the results that we've just achieved. And so you really can see here that the noise filter has had a dramatic effect on the effectiveness of the strategy. And as I said, this almost now breaks even. Now it's done that by filtering out those trades where the price action was particularly noisy and it's only allowed the trades where the noise was low to actually execute. And as a result, of course, we get far fewer trades. And in this case, it's about 18,000. And as I said before, I was trying to set the level here to give me that 75%, 25% split. And in actual fact, that was 26% of the trades that we had previously. Now, in the final strategy here, this produced, if you remember, about two and a half thousand trades. And the reason for that is that this has also implemented a trend filter, which reduced the number of trades. And also, we've performed some asset filtering here. And that brings me on nicely to the focus of the next episode, which will be asset research in relation to the Ichimoku strategy. And then following that, we're going to implement the trend filter. So that's all we've got time for this episode. If you've got any value from this episode at all, please do remember to give me a like. And although it does sometimes take me a while to respond to comments, I do always read them. And I love to get feedback on my videos and also the work that you guys are doing. And so it's always really appreciated if you just drop a comment underneath the video. Now, until next time, trade safe.